Hi, my name is Stefan. I'm a math professional. And today I'm going to be speaking on how to solve math proofs. When solving math proofs, you always want to do one thing, and that's state the facts. In order to get from uh, point A to point B, uh, you know, we have to know where we are, and we want to state all the things that we definitely know to help us get us there. Like, let's say, for instance, we have a triangle, uh, a three, four, five triangle, and let's call that triangle A. And let's say we have another triangle, triangle B. Okay. Let's say we want to prove that uh, triangle A is congruent to triangle B. Let's, you know, state our facts. Okay, we know that there's a three, four, five triangle. We have our lengths. Uh, we see the right angle side over here. So we have, uh, there's a right triangle. That's one of our facts. Uh, we have two angles congruent. or two lengths congruent. The length here, we have two sides, three and five. Okay, what else uh, we know about this triangle? Uh, we know that uh, uh, there's gonna be uh, equivalent to uh, 90 degrees on the interior here, these two angles, this angle here and this angle here. So these are facts. Now we have our formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this side here, we'll call it x. If x is equivalent to this, we know that the two triangles would be congruent. So you have uh, 25 minus 9 equals x squared. Okay, so that's 16 equals x. So x equals 4. So now we just proved that x equals 4. So we've proved that triangle A is congruent to triangle B. And that's one way of how to solve proofs.